strong Christmas bike sales helped Halfords stick to full-year profit guidance of between £50 million and £55 million today as it unveiled figures for the festive period. Group revenue rose 4.6% in the 14 weeks to the 3rd of January while like-for-like -like sales climbed 1.3% as the repair shop reconfirmed its operating profit target. Read more. Halford's revenue and profit dip as it snaps up garage chain cycling sales jumped 5.9% on a comparable basis, as Halford's staff built 86,000 bikes in the week before Christmas. Meanwhile, Auto Center revenue soared 31.2% in Halford's third quarter and like for like Auto Center sales grew 4.6%. Recent acquisitions McConaughey's and tires on the drive performed in line with expectations as Halford's works on integrating them into the Auto Center business. The company's share price rose 4% to 151.4p. I am pleased with our overall performance in the third quarter, with total revenue growing nearly 5% in the quarter, Chief Executive Graham Stapleton said. Our results reflect the positive actions we have taken across the group to deliver on our strategy, particularly motoring services, which grew strongly. Within retail, cycling performed particularly well, as customers responded to our innovative product ranges and differentiated proposition. However, retail motoring sales sank 2.7% on a like-for-like -like basis over the period and Halfords warned of a challenging market affected by low levels of consumer confidence. Halfords took heart from a huge 32% jump in B2B sales growth, which now accounts for 16% of all sales. And the business posted a 27% leap in online sales over the quarter. Our new web platform remains on track to launch in Q4 which will significantly improve the digital experience and, for the first time, allow customers to access an integrated services offer across stores, garages and mobile through one website, Halford said. Read more, Primark UK store sales dip as retailer outlines expansion plans though pleased with our performance, market conditions remain subdued and we are not anticipating a near-term improvement, Stapleton added. We will continue to focus on improving our customer proposition, building our services business and managing our costs and operations tightly. In the context of the current retail market I am pleased to be reporting a positive L4L performance and to reconfirm profit guidance for the full year. Main Image Credit, Wikimedia Commons For more on this story, visit the news article link.